Well, it's day two of World Swiss Stage with coverage brought to you by you. I'm joined right now by Adam after his match against Mad. Uh, he has just informed me that he is full tilted, so we'll see how this interview goes. Uh, but yeah, I mean, how frustrating is it to play the Civil War? Because I know a lot of people have had frustrations about the fact that they have to play teams that they play in their own regions, but I don't know how much the players feel that way, so I'm curious how you think. Uh, well, first of all, I mean, I don't mind playing like EU teams, to be honest, even though I would appreciate always like facing new faces and new teams. So it's a bit of a shame that we face Matt, but I mean, to be fair, we we're supposed to win today, but I mean, it's kind of a shame how we played. I don't know, just there's no other words, kind of. So, yeah, I, mean, I don't know what else to think about it, to be honest. Well, I, I guess I, I have to ask, you know, what do you think led to the loss? Or, or why do you think you guys played rough today? Is it just the day you guys didn't have it together, or is there some other factor? Uh, I mean, probably, like, like, our biggest strength so far in these words is I'm on, a, like, champion that I'm comfortable with. I mean, I'm comfortable with Renekton, but, I mean, we tend to win when I'm, like, a giga ahead, yeah. but we have a lot of trouble when the game is even or we fall a bit behind. And in those kind of moments, I feel like we're completely like unrecognizable. It's like we forget how to play as a team from behind because we're maybe too used that I'm like playing from ahead or something. So, I mean, I'm not quite sure what to think about it. Because, I mean, yeah, as I said, just a shame. We could not play our game. We're like not a team. It was like everything was chaotic in what we were doing. So, yeah, not quite sure. Do you feel a lot of pressure? Given how much the team relies on you to be ahead to whenever you get into these games, do you feel like there's a lot of pressure on you? I mean, if there's pressure, at least I don't feel it. Because my mindset is I just try to give the best perma, so I don't really think about like exterior thoughts or like, oh, I need, to, I need to be ahead or something like that. I'm just trying to like win and just give my best, and usually it works well. Sometimes it doesn't, and uh, it feels a bit, you know, like uh, weird. But, uh, you know, you just have to thank it, I guess. I know that obviously you wanted the win today, but I'm curious how you feel about getting this far at Worlds, because I know that there's a lot of, like, I think a lot of people did not expect you guys to get to Worlds, and then you get through this, and now you're here. Does that sit on your mind? Or are you like, hey, we're, this is almost like bonus time? Or uh, is it really just we have to keep going, we have to keep going, we have to keep going? No, I, I mean, I've said it like multiple times, but f for me, like being here already, like my objective has been achieved. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to get to Swiss stage because this was like my main goal for the entire year. I wanted to get to this. And the fact that uh, we won against PSG after a reverse sweep, it was like a huge relief. Yeah. But uh, right now, yeah, as you mentioned, like everything is like a huge bonus, huge extra. But even though I feel like that, you know, we cannot afford to lose those type of games because yeah. I, I mean, yeah, we just cannot lose this, you know. We were chatting a little bit before this that I was saying I, I, it's crazy how popular you are in Korea. I'm curious, how much have you felt that? Or have you had any experiences where fans come up to you or anything like that? I mean, for example, like we do walk outside a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, we get to recognize me like sometimes. So it's a bit different than uh, what I have um, in, uh, in LEC because we're in Berlin and in Berlin, like, I think I've got recognized like one or two times, not more. But here it's already like way more because maybe like Korea is like, uh, in the South Korea is like really a country of League of Legends, right? Yeah. But um, like the approach fans have towards uh, their player, they're like way different than in EU and uh, it just feels amazing, you know. How, how is it different? Uh, I, I mean, like I wouldn't say like they're more sweet, you yeah, know, yeah. but because uh, EU as well, every fans are sweet. But maybe like their personality, you know, how it feels. You just kind of feeling, you feel that. Uh, it's just amazing. It's, it's amazing, like both in UA and Korea, but since you're in other continents, it feels a bit different, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I can understand. That's, uh, that's kind of cool to have that experience of, of it being so different than LEC. Well, I won't keep you long because I know it's always a bummer after, after a loss, and I'm sure you need to talk to the rest of the team. But anything you want to say to any of the fans out there? Which fans? Oh. Uh, well, LEC fans or any of the crazy fans in LCK that are spotting you on the street? Uh, so, hello LEC fans. So, I hope we didn't disappoint you too much about uh, this loss today. 
Uh, we're trying our best, even though it's not the easiest. Uh, tomorrow we might be facing like the loser of KT, uh, KT Damon. So, you know, the, it might not be easy, but we can also get like uh, TL. So, <laughs> you know, we can get, uh, we can beat DNA once again. And, uh, but we'll try to go the further and uh, yeah. Very good. Well, thank you so much for the interview. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage, All Things Worlds, right here on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching that interview. Fudge is walking in right now, so I got to interview him instead of this outro. But uh, I'm so, uh, the video is brought to you by you. I'm trying to tell them that they should support me because I support Travis Gafford. Yeah, because I don't have Travis a sponsor Gafford. for this one. So this is my sixth interview of the day. Jesus, we're going hard in the content zone. Yeah, I mean that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. That's what I'm doing. Save North America. There's a link in the description if you want to support the channel. There's a bunch of different ways to do so. You have to support the channel. You don't have to. If you're not financially capable of doing that. Fair um, enough. Yeah.